We head down to the middle now to see Steve Smith and the England captain Joe Root for the toss of the coin. So England is called head well, and head is the call. There. So right there you can see England have elected to bat here on the first morning of the Brisbane Test Match. So the Australian players are on the field and now we await the arrival of the English batsmen here. But I think this is going to be a very interesting test match coming up here. A lot of competition between the two sides. You can see Alistair Cook there, a big high score of 294, Stark. averaging 41 runs there. And Mitchell Stark to start things off here for the Australians. What does he have? Oh, nice shape there with that first delivery. Stark again. Oh, and Cook slashes away outside. That is going to be a boundary down to third man. Great way to get off the mark. Josh Hazelwood now. Coming in for his first over the game. And, and Balance just plays that away. Trying to run it down, find a third man. But there's a couple of fielders in the slips there to stop that. Hazelwood to Balance again. Balance once again trying to work that ball through the slips. But some good... Defensive fielding there from the Australian side. They're up and about in the field early. Stark to Cook. Oh, and that's a nice shot from Cook there. That is through the covers. We could see a couple of runs here. I think they'll just stick with the two. Just the two there from the English players. And two runs added to the I think Mitchell Stark's just been pitching the ball a little bit too up there at the yes. moment for for his liking. You see once again there Cook can just absolutely hit that balls down the ground just for a couple more runs. Maxwell for throw in the deep. And this is a bit of a surprise. The Australians bringing Nathan Lyon into the attack quite early here. After just four overs. A very new ball for him to bowl with. And you just think this is probably not the wisest decision. It might give the English players a little bit of a chance to get in here. Nice shot there from Gary Balance, another single. So he's off. Uh... Oh, line a good play and a miss from Cork. He's really starting to get into his rhythm now. Oh, shot there from Cork. That's another boundary. That'll be four more. Stark there, just grabbing maybe the outside edge of balances back, but it goes a little wider of all the slips, and that's going to race away for another boundary. Four. Oh, nice delivery there from Hazelwood. England, none for 48 after 15 overs. They're doing no shot fairly well at the moment here. Oh, no, this is Pat Cummins into the attack now, so he's bowled well. None for eight off 3.1. What can he do to Cook? Short ball, Cook hits it down. Oh, and that's going to be out there. Kawaja with a nice catch in the cover region. Not quite sure what Alistair Cook was doing with that shot. He just hit it in the air. It was a short ball, and he's tried to hit it forward of the wicket. Forward of square on the offside, and Kawaja's just seen absolute glory here. Able to take a nice, simple catch in the covers. Had to move a little bit to get to it as it was coming at a ripping speed, but a great catch down there. And the Australians get their first wicket as we see Joe Root come to the crease. And Cummins just starting to get some shape away there to Root. And this is Stark. Oh, I've got no idea how he did not bowl Gary Balance there. See this ball just nipping through, clipping the pad on the way through. Oh, and Cummins now. That is a ripping Not ball. Sure how that, missed. that has swung in and missed off stump by a whisker. Oh, shot now. Balance starting to really find himself in some form. He moves to 35 now and puts England 1 to 73. Oh, and Joe Root there, another classic cover drive. That's going to be four more. That's one for the highlights reel. Oh, Nathan Lyon. Oh, now Ball Root goes again. This time a pull shot on the leg side. This will be a couple more runs. 
He's definitely ticking along nicely at the moment. And that's the 100 up for England. Well directed throw. Oh, an outside edge. And Cummins doesn't quite get the wicket of balance. He's going to pick up a two. And this will be the first half century of the innings here. Gary Balance nice picking up his Good half return. century yeah, over 106 going. deliveries. So he's had to grind that out. And he's done a very nice job. Oh, and now he goes again. That is four more. Just short ball from Cummins put away. Hazelwood to root, root cuts, and that is going to go for a boundary as well. Might have been a slight catching chance there for the Aussies, but not to be. Hazelwood trying to do some damage here to Joe Root. Ooh. Just a little high on the pads there, you would think, with that appeal. Oh, and he beats the inside edge again there, Hazelwood. He's just... And now Root pulls away. That's going to be four. Like oh, you just nice thought Hazelwood was getting the better of Joe Root. And then that just one shot can turn it around. We'll balance there again. A little bit of an edge, but it just does not carry to Matthew Wade, as you can clearly see here. Ball does not carry. Oh, and that is six and from Gary Balance. So Hazelwood has been tonked. Yep. And now Joe Root brings up his 50. Nathan Lyon come back into the attack just an over ago, or a couple of overs ago, and Joe Root has managed to bring up his 50 after hitting a boundary. So can Nathan Lyon get back on the front foot here and attack? Oh, and he's bowled him. That's the breakthrough the Australians were looking for. That he's just turned and ripped and skidded out of the pitch. And Joe Root is gone for 51. I think he was expecting it to just turn a little bit more there, Joe Root. It just sort of straightened on the stumps. And he just got his timing a little bit off. Just gripped into the wicket. And that might have been the contributing factor here. That got Joe Root out as Bairstow comes into bat now. Can Nathan Lyon keep this momentum going for the Aussies and turn one wicket into two? Here he comes. Just the dot ball. Oh, and Stark to balance, who's continuing to hit good shots at the moment. He's the informed player, and they've just got to find a partner for him right now. And now Bairstow through the offside. That's another boundary. They get very excited for that shot. Another four. And Bairstow really getting into the thick of things here. Oh. Gee, that's a wide delivery from Nathan Lyon. Didn't like He's the look just of that trying one. to no find on. balance on the front foot and take the stumping. Oh, could this be one from Matty Wade? He thinks he might have something. Oh, and he does. That's it for balance. He's just played all around the line there and put himself a long way outside this the, the crease. Matthew Wade Not sure with the stumping. And that is the wicket. Really the big one of Gary Balance. And guess who? Nathan Lyon delivers once again. This brings Moeen Alley to the crease. Oh, and almost just misses him first ball. That is a nice carry there from Matthew Wade. We're done. Always a bit of a contest here between the off spinners, Lion and Alley. They like to get at each other's throats in and they would love to take oh, each other's wickets shot. when batting. And Alley's hit a classy shot here through point on the offside. Might not get to the rope, but it looks like they're going to run four anyway. Oh, and that's just some sloppy fielding there from Cummins, I think, in the deep. Maybe trying to change some things in the field here. Just to the field. put a bit more pressure on, on Ali being the new man in. Can he maybe snag a bit of a wicket here? Oh! Yes, well ball. Let's that go through to the keeper. 
Oh, and he's got the edge, I think. The Australians are appealing. Yes, it's been given. Moeen Ali will have to depart for just six. Nathan Lyon gets his third wicket. England move to four for 169 after 51.4 overs. And Nathan Lyon really starting to take this test match with his own two hands right now as Wokes comes to the crease and Lyon sniff another wicket here. He's got three slips in and a short gully. What can he provide here to Wokes? The crowd are up and about. They're on their feet. Here comes Nathan Lyon. Oh, and that'll be a dot ball. Nicely played from Wokes. Oh, and Bairstow. He's really worked his way into his innings now. That is a classic shot. And through the offside this time. That's another boundary from Bairstow. Moves into the 40s. And Hazelwood has bowled Wokes. What a fantastic delivery. Huge swinging in. And goodbye to his off peg. He's clean bowled him there. Wokes was off. Played all around the line and whack goes the off stump. And the Aussies, they're truly up and about now. Oh, into Jake Ball, the new man. Oh, he's played around that. Well, they're, they're going up here, the Aussies, for stumping. Oh, no, it looks like, looks like Ball would be safely back there. Although, for a second, his foot may just go off the ground and it's been given out. It has been given out. I'm not quite sure what the third umpire saw in that one. But England now six down for 200 runs. Nathan Lyon trying to take a fifth wicket here. Oh, and that's a good shot from Bairstow. He's going to bring up his half century. And really, he's going to have to shoulder the load here in the back half of the England innings. There's six down at the moment. But he's going to pick up that half century with a couple down to third man. Very, very good innings. And I think that the there. most impressive thing about his 50 is that he has scored it at a reasonably quick rate. Around about a run of ball, if not more than that. As you can see, the strike rate over 100. And just a lot of boundaries there. He's hit 11 fours of his 51 runs. Oh, Stark gets hit over the top by Dawson. He's not afraid to play some shots. If he's going to pitch it up, Stark, he's got to pitch it up really good. And he goes to short ball that Dawson just plays down this time. Stark, oh, he might have trapped him there. How is it? And that's LBW, the umpire's given it. Dawson's got to go. England 7 for 217. Their collapse continues at the hands of these Australian bowlers. Fantastic effort from Stark, really pitched up there, got it right in on the toes. And here comes the man the Australian fans are booing, Stuart Broad. He's not a bad test player, can use the bat. Stark to Broad. In swinging Yorker, but he's going to hit that away for a run. Off the mark already, Stuart Broad. Oh, and he's hit it. Oh, that's Bearstow. Nice shot for four. Seven for 229. Oh, geez, and that is a short ball from Mitchell Stark that has just belluded Matthew Wade. That's another boundary. Oh, almost that's a bit of a catching chance off the square drive from Bearstow. Beautiful shot. And Cummins really trying to look to attack the stumps now. Oh, Bairstow goes up high. Warner's trying to get underneath it, but it's going to fall safe. This is the boundary. Great shot. Driven... It's giving him chances at the moment, Bairstow. Cummins with a short ball. Pulled away. Almost a catch there. Once again, Warner very close to getting underneath it. Cummins is really troubling Bairstow at the moment. 
very close to taking a wicket on a couple of occasions and then a tight leave. So England 7 for 244 of 75 overs. Oh, Broad goes this time off the bowling of lie, and that's going to be a boundary. And England bring up the 250 with that shot. Oh, outside edge there from Broad off the bowling of Cummins, and it's taken. That's Matty Renshaw right there. The Australians take the eighth wicket, and they would hope to try and wrap this up soon. They've got the new ball due in a couple of overs, but there goes Stuart Broad, Cummins. And a fantastic catch there from Renshaw. Let's take a look at it on the replay screen here. Bowling around the wicket was Patrick Cummins. Broad trying to play a shot through the covers and Renshaw with one of the best Hazel catches of the summer you'll so see. As Josh Hazelwood comes in and, and takes the new, ball, take the new ball. Trying to get out Johnny Bairstow. The, the one player who's probably in some really good form at the moment for England. Oh, this is Stark, and he gets hit away from Bairstow. He's just been hitting boundaries for a lot of the day here, Bairstow. Another couple of runs there. Turning and coming back for three, I think. And that'll do. Yep. Oh, and Wood gets onto the end of that one. That's going to be four. Just two full. Bit of a full toss, easily put away. Oh, this could be a chance. Wood with a little bit of a pull shot. It's gone to his pad and it's going to be taken down there. The short leg fielder, Peter Hanscom's done a fantastic job. It was a fantastic delivery from Josh Hazelwood. A bit of a poor shot in the end from Mark Wood and just managed to get an inside edge onto his pad, which just allowed the little bit of an opening there from Peter Hanscom. And while it wasn't the cleanest of catches, you'll see, it certainly was one to remember. Oh, very close there. Oh, has Nathan Lyon taken it? Has he got a Pfeiffer here? Besto's on 84. And his foot does just come out of the stumps, out of the crease, so you would think. Matthew Wade here. And it's very close. You, I, it does look out here. Big appeal. And the third umpire's given it. So Australia bowl England out for 285. Nathan Lyon takes five wickets. What a fantastic first session and first day of play here, really. The Aussies are running off the field. They know they're going to come in and bat for four overs. Taking a look at the scoreboard here, you can see... Besto with a great knock there of 84, the last wicket to fall for the day. As well, you saw starts from Balance who made that 61 and Joe Root 51. But then after that, there wasn't really too much to worry about. And then Gallister Cook made a nice 25 in the opening partnership. But England, from then on, really just started to collapse. And between Moanelli and, and Dawson, they only made 14 runs between those four players. So they'd like to get a little bit more out of that. Broad, again, a start, would a start, but it really was the Australians who took the ascendancy uh, from about, you know, the, the midway point of the match. It took them 145 runs to get the first couple of wickets, and then uh, 140 runs to get the, the other eight. Let me take a look at the bowling here. You can see Stark there, 20 overs, 1 for 63. Hazelwood, 2 for 62 from 20 as well. Lyon, the pick of the bowlers, with 5 for 89 off 28 overs. And Patrick Cummins, I thought, bowled really well as, as well with those 17 overs, 2 for 54. Very good economy rates from all of them. And then Steve Smith was just throwing the ball there for just a little bit of a change-up before lunch. And as you can see at the moment, it is England, 285. The Australians, ready to bat. Out to the middle of Gabba here is David Warner and Matthew Renshaw. I think Warner here is very, very much in good form, waiting to see how he'll go today. And here we go, Anderson to Warner. Oh, I think he's hit him there. That's going to hurt. Now yeah, remember, the Australians just have to face four overs tonight. Oof, trying to get out of the way of that one. So a lot of short balls early here from Anderson. Trying to see if they can get Warner getting a top edge to that pull shot he likes to play. 
Oh, and there's the pull shot there, but no run. A bit of a mix up. They'll need to improve their Anderson started well early here, just putting Warner under a lot of pressure. Oh, and that's a loose delivery there. That's too wide outside the off stump. David Warner hits it away. They'll turn and come back for three, you would think. He's quick, Warner. He should make this one. And oh, just whoosh. Whoosh. Brought into the attack now. Oh, what a shot from Warner. That's straight down the ground. No stopping that boundary. That's race to the fence for four. I think this is the perfect example of a cover of a straight drive you want to see. David Warner just very, very straight that delivery. Fantastic work. And now Renshaw after two overs will finally face his first delivery. For the bowling of Jimmy Anderson. And no, no run there, just leaves that one. So Renshaw survives. Final ball of the day. And it is going to be out of ball. So the Aussies scrape through to the end of the first day's play after four overs of batting. They're none for seven. Warner with all seven runs. And we take a look at the status of the match. We can see the Australians there. Warner facing the chunk of the deliveries for seven runs with Renshaw yet to get off the mark. Just making sure they're playing defensively with Anderson and Broad, the two guys bowling the overs. But at the moment, Australia trail by 278 runs after bowling England out for 285 on the first day of the first Ashes Test match here at the Gabba.